Well, I think in this day and age, and in our economy right now, teacher librarians need to be doing a ton of stuff to be supporting learning. Mm -hmm. uh, for starters, here at Tumwater High School, our teacher librarian has become our student learning coordinator, which is a brand new role for us. Um, it's a great role as far as supporting learning is concerned. They are the go-to person for teachers, uh, for instructional strategies, so it has really expanded the role of the teacher librarian from, from there. Mm -hmm. Second part is, what does the library do during the day? You know, I think back to what it used to look like compared to what it's now, it's unreal. Our library is jam-packed full of students all day long by moving a computer lab in there, uh, having a system of support like CoreFlex at Tumwater High School, uh, and really changing the whole focus of the library to be the hub of learning. It's nonstop action Great. all day long. Yeah. Sure. Our at Tumwater High School we have a site leadership team, and uh, our SLC student learning coordinator, mm -hmm. aka Roz Thompson, mm -hmm. aka teacher librarian, mm -hmm. sits at the table. And every meeting she does a professional development. She brings some piece some key nugget of professional development for all of our department coordinators uh, so every meeting isn't a, a typical meeting of business it's a meeting where people are coming and getting a key piece that they walk away with that they can share with their other departments so that's at the building level that student learning coordinator also travels with me to district level meetings where um, he or she is working with all the other SLCs throughout the district Well, that's a great question. Uh, I guess I'd like to just start by comparing what the library used to be like to what it's like now. Back in the day, I could walk into our library and the place was quiet. Books were neatly stacked, uh, a few students maybe milling about, but really not a hub of learning by any means. Uh, nowadays, you walk in the library and we moved one of our computer labs into the library, which I think was a no-brainer. Uh, so now, you walk in and you see computer monitors and instant access to the whole world of information out there. But you also see a classroom of students at all those computers. Then you also see a whole other class of students as well as the variety of students that are accessing the library every day for learning. We've got kids that are doing Running Start, we've got kids that are doing online learning, we've got kids that are doing independent study. Uh, we are meeting the, a variety of needs for the 1,100 students that we have going to the school all through the library and the place is hopping and busy and crazy from the moment uh, we open the doors in the morning to way after the school day ends. Uh, the other part is look at the how learning's changed from what it used to be to what it is now. I think the, back in the old days we taught students how to find information. So they could come into the library, go to a card catalog, and then they could begin their search, and the library media specialist was helping them find their stuff. Now look at how fast information is there. It's at kids' fingertips. So it's really important that library media specialists are teaching kids how to find reliable sources of information so that they, they're using appropriate stuff and finding it correctly and then being right there for them to help them think critically, and uh, move forward and place it perfectly wherever they're using it.